Hi, I'm Gunnar Pulliam. And I'm Steven Jessup. And welcome back to your daily video announcements. Today for lunch, we have tater tot casserole, steamed broccoli, dinner roll, cucumber slices, fruit cocktail, and a cold milk. We would like to thank our school librarian, Mrs. S, for School Library Month. Now let's take a look at today's holidays. Next, let's take a quick look at your top five news stories of the day. Hi, I'm Caleb, and these are your top five news stories of the day. Number one, the House of Representatives approves D.C. statehood, opposition expected in the Senate. Number two, according to the White House, Biden will be the first president to create one million jobs in his first 100 days in office. Number three, SpaceX rocket carrying four astronaut land launches from Florida. Number four, Trump to announce return to social media in coming weeks. And number five, Governor Laura Kelly vetoes three bills relating to education, transgender sports ban, gun safety education, and requiring seniors to take a civics test. Those are your top five news stories of the day. Back to you guys in the studio. And now, for a quick blast to the past, let's look at today in history. <laughs> April 26, 1986. An accident has occurred at the Chernobyl atomic power plant as one of the atomic reactors was damaged. The world's worst nuclear accident happens at the Chernobyl plant in Ukraine, then part of the Soviet Union. An explosion and fire at the plant kills at least 31 people, spewing radioactive clouds into the atmosphere that winds carry as far as Western Europe. 1865. Federal troops surround and kill John Wilkes Booth, President Abraham Lincoln's assassin, near Bowling Green, Virginia. 1607. English colonists wash ashore at what's now Cape Henry, Virginia. Weeks later, they establish Jamestown, the first permanent English settlement in the Western Hemisphere. 1937. Planes from Nazi Germany and fascist Italy raid the Basque town of Guernica during the Spanish Civil War. 2000. Vermont's Governor Howard Dean signs the first bill in the United States allowing same-sex couples to form civil unions. And 1989. Hello, friends. I'm your Vitamita Vegemin girl. Are you tired, run down, listless? Do you poop out at parties? <laughs> Actress and comedian Lucille Ball, star of the classic TV hit I Love Lucy, dies in Los Angeles at the age of 77. Today in history, April 26th, Ed Donahue, The Associated Press. Last, let's head on over to weather with Ryan Goebel. Welcome back to your daily weather forecast. Today it's going to be partly cloudy with some winds with a high of 86, with the winds to the south-southwest at 20-30 miles an hour, with the winds occasionally gusting over the 40 miles an hour. Tonight it's going to be windy with mostly cloudy with the low of 65 with the winds to the south of 20 to 30 miles, uh, 20, 30 miles an hour with the winds occasionally gusting over the 40 miles an hour. That's all for your weather. Now back to you guys in the studio. That's all for today. Make sure to stay classy, BC.